Please hang up and try again. Portable storage has come a long way. I go way back with the five and a quarter floppy disks back in elementary school, and they used a bunch of three and a half inch diskettes all the way through the end of high school. Anyone remember installing games on the, off of those things? Remember how easy it was to bootleg King's Quest or Space Quest with your other geek friends? I sure as hell do. Yeah, I'm that old. And then came those awesome 100 meg zip disks from my Omega. Yeah, those went away with the parallel port. Okay, that's enough reminiscing for now. The world has pretty much changed over the past 20 plus years and the demand for storage is much higher than ever. People need more space to carry their high resolution photos, HD 4K video, multimedia presentations, music, you name it. And for those who need to edit videos on the go, even the current mechanical USB 3.0 drives are pain to use due to load times. What about those USB flash drives? Limited only to 64 gigs to 128 gigs and slow read and write speeds? Totally out of the question. But now, the price of solid state storage is getting cheaper by the second. Portable SSD drives are now a much more practical solution. What's everyone, Louis Tran here, and as you may have guessed, we're going to be reviewing the Samsung T1 portable SSD drive. Oh wait, these are not, this is not the hard drive, these are my uh, Dollar Shave Club razors, which are awesome razors by the way. Sorry about that. Uh, Samsung portable T1 SSD drive. Uh, I know that the Samsung T3 is already out. Uh, the newer version has uh, support for the uh, USB 3.0, but you know, I got a really good deal on the T older, not much older T1, uh, but if you want me to review the Samsung T3, buy me one. Now before we begin, let's unbox this. Please enjoy the funky ass porno music. Okay, so the box looks a little bit like it's used. Well, it is because I bought it off of eBay. Uh, like I said, it was for a good deal, so let's pull this off. Okay, now let's take off this lid. And oh, it's QC Pass! That's awesome, so I guess it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna peel that sticker off, but yeah, you know, in hand it feels really lightweight, uh, flipping it over. Again, you know, it feels it's got it's plastic, but it's got a solid feel to it. Uh, it's really thin, really light. Oh, there's the USB 3.0 port. Try to zoom in here. Sorry, but it's a little bit blurry. Now these start about $120 for the uh, 250 gig version, and they go all the way up to $380 for the one terabyte. Sounds expensive, but trust me, it's worth it. So here's the Samsung T1 SSD drive in comparison to the Hutu that it's plugged into right now. Uh, this is the USB hub that I reviewed uh, a couple of weeks ago, but if you take a look, uh, the size difference is pretty incredible. I mean, if you look at this, it's really thin. It's much thinner than the USB hub, and it actually is uh, quite smaller and lighter. Now, if you want to take a look at my previous portable hard drive, this is what I've been using for about a year already. This is also a one terabyte uh, USB 3.0 Seagate drive, but you know the load times are much slower than the Samsung. Uh, at T1 SSD. So, you know, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you a benchmark using Blackmagic to compare the speeds of the SSD drives. I'm going to fire up the Blackmagic application right now to test the SSD drive. Here we go. And it clocks at 381 megs per second read. And for write, it clocks at 429 megs. Pretty incredible. And if we look at the Seagate drive, you get a pathetic 89 megs read and a 107 write. My, have the times changed. In short, the Samsung T1 or even the T3 get my recommendation. The performance, weight, and size are all the reasons why you should get this over the traditional mechanical portable drives. This will now go everywhere I go. Nice job, Samsung. <laughs> 